interesting uh, here in the uh, in the next matchup here. That's Abilene Christian and Stephen F. Austin, a couple of teams that have both been in the NCAA tournament on previous occasions. They are part of the Thursday card. You see that on the neutral floor, Stephen F. Austin is favored by three and a half in this game, and the total is 138. Let's begin the discussion. Corby Craig, start us off here. And you've got an official play on this game. What stands out between Abilene Christian and uh, the matchup here with Stephen F. Austin uh, in the in the uh, in the WAC um, in the WAC tournament in Las Vegas? Speaking of Las Vegas, multiple tournaments in Vegas. What stands out about this one? Yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting matchup. One that. People in the chat, it looks like uh, we'll probably hate the fact that we go from just absolute major market games to Abilene Christian versus Stephen F. Austin. But I've had success doing something this year more than years have passed. Uh, pretty simple. There's going to be a regression from like regular season number to uh, conference number. few reasons. Uh, a difficulty, like they're going to try harder on defense because their season's on the line. Also, you're on a neutral court, first game playing here. Uh, a lot of things are going to regress. But if you look at Abilene Christian versus Stephen F. Austin, their first matchup, this number was 148. Second matchup, 147 and a half. Now you're getting 139, which it, in a lot of cases makes sense. Like if you're BYU, it's hard to shoot on a neutral court. I understand. But Abilene Christian and Stephen F. Austin do not shoot threes, TJ. These are two teams who want to get to the basket as fast as they can. They want to get foul calls. They want to keep this tempo going. And how do you do that on a neutral court? Uh, you don't shoot threes, which they're not really worried about. So I think that... The market's just obviously going to regress a number um, that they just they, they have historics on, and they do with every single game on a first-round neutral court. There's no reason for it to happen here. This game is going to play really high pace. There's going to be a ton of free throws. Uh, two teams who want to run. They don't want a gun. And uh, I think this one gets ugly and scrappy fast on a line that's three and a half. It makes a lot of sense for there to be late-game fouling. And uh, this is a game that I think Abilene Christian can win also. like uh, This is a, a team who, at the start of the year, played awful defense. We saw that Stephen F. Austin game in the first matchup go to 89 possessions in overtime. Uh, after that, the coach had a press conference and he was like, our defense, it might have went to overtime, but we don't deserve overtime. We look awful. So uh, I think this is a team that focused on defense all year, but uh, getting into a conference tournament, that's been adjusted a little too much here. Grand Canyon has been the top team in this conference the whole season. This is Abilene Christian finished 10 and 10 in the regular season the WAC and Stephen F Austin who finished 10 and 10 they are playing 8:30 Pacific time tonight Jeff a total of 136 and a half and Stephen F Austin is a three and a half point favorite anything on this one at all yeah I, I was a bit surprised to see ACU catching three or four here I mean I felt like this game was a little closer than, than maybe that maybe a coin flip really I mean the game was close a couple of weeks ago you know, Stephen F. Austin is going to turn you over. We all know that. Abilene, though, doesn't really turn the ball over. Uh, Abilene just got to make sure they don't get crushed on the boards. You know, that was one of the issues last night I worried about with uh, with Merrimack. You know, was Wagner just going to control the boards? That's what they do. And when you look back at the game, um, you know, they, they had uh, 10 offensive rebounds. I'm sure most of that led to the point. So they have to do a good job on the block because F, Stephen F. Austin is a good offensive rebounding team. But I don't have much here. Uh, I'll uh, venture uh, to buy into Corby's play and uh, root for him to win. All right. Uh, he says here in this matchup, there will be enough points. It's not a lot of points at 136. He thinks it goes over. Again, this one, 830 uh, Pacific time tonight at the WAC Conference Tournament. And again, one of four tournaments that are going on simultaneously in Las Vegas this weekend, including the Pac-12 Tournament, the Mountain West Tournament, and the Big West Tournament. Hello, Vegas. And they just got done with St. Mary's beating Gonzaga. But the play is over 139 here in the uh, in the matchup. Uh, he wants to see a lot of points, does Corby, in the Abilene Christian Stephen F. Austin game. 